Ever ask yourself how fuel actually gets into your engine cylinders at high pressure in a gasoline direct injection or GDI engine? The answer lies in one precision-driven component, the GDI high pressure fuel pump. Today, we'll be breaking it down in a clear and straightforward manner, suitable for all levels of technical understanding. First, let's understand how fuel reaches the engine. It's a two-stage process. The journey begins at the fuel tank, where a conventional electric pump, known as the low-pressure pump, sends fuel forward. From there, it reaches the high-pressure fuel pump. This component plays a crucial role. It takes the incoming low-pressure fuel and compresses it to a much higher pressure. The pressurized fuel is then sent to a common rail, which distributes it evenly to the fuel injectors. These injectors deliver the fuel precisely into the engine's combustion chambers, supporting efficient performance and cleaner operation. So how does it work? The high-pressure fuel pump is a mechanical, single-piston pump, not electric. It's powered directly by the engine, using a specially shaped cam on the camshaft, usually with three or four lobes. As the camshaft rotates, the cam lobes push the pump's piston up and down, this motion compresses the fuel to very high pressure, making it ready for precise injection. This intense pressure is what enables modern direct fuel injection systems to function so efficiently. Now, the system doesn't operate at maximum pressure all the time. That wouldn't be efficient or practical. The high pressure pump is a volume control device, meaning it only compresses the amount of fuel needed at any given moment. This is where the powertrain control module, or PCM, essentially the brain of the system, comes into play. The PCM regulates fuel pressure by controlling how much fuel enters the pump. To do this accurately, it relies on input from several key sensors. The fuel rail pressure sensor, the crankshaft position sensor, and the camshaft position sensor. These sensors provide precise timing information allowing the PCM to know exactly where the camshaft is and when the pump piston is moving, ensuring optimal fuel delivery for every engine cycle. The key to controlling pressure lies in the pump's inlet valve. Most systems use a normally open design. So what does that mean? When the PCM isn't sending a signal, the fuel control solenoid is de-energized and spring pressure keeps the valve open. This allows fuel to flow freely through the pump without building pressure. But when it's time to generate high pressure, the PCM steps in. It sends an electrical signal to the valve's regulator, closing the valve just as the piston begins its upward stroke. Timing here is critical. That's why the PCM uses signals from the crankshaft and camshaft position sensors to precisely coordinate valve closure with the camshaft's movement. This ensures the pump compresses the fuel at exactly the right moment, maximizing efficiency and performance. Finally, it is important to consider the safety mechanisms within the system. In the event that fuel pressure exceeds acceptable limits, pressure relief valves, located either within the high-pressure fuel pump or on the fuel rail, when the relief valve opens, it allows high-pressure fuel to bypass the outlet and recirculate back into a lower-pressure area of the pump or system, effectively relieving the pressure, thereby protecting the system from potential damage due to overpressure. A normally open inlet valve acts as a safety feature. If the regulator fails, the valve stays open, switching the system to a low-pressure mode. This reduces engine performance but keeps it running on the low-pressure pump preventing a complete shutdown. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into automotive tech.